It was welcome news for bars and restaurants that they'll be able to reopen at alert level two. But when that happens, don't expect your local to look or even feel the same as it did before COVID-19. One of the best things about hospitality and working in this industry is the atmosphere and the people around it. When you're just serving people outside, there's no atmosphere kind of thing. Um, and I think even separating people and people not being able to kind of move around and mingle like they usually do will still be a weird environment to be part of. Obviously, uh, things aren't going to be the same. We've got to make sure that uh, we follow all the procedures. And if I think it's going out of my hand, I might have to close again because we can't take the risk. We just got to make sure uh, we wipe every single table, we wipe all the door handles, and maybe only one person is allowed to go to the toilet. At level two, all customers must be seated, separated and served by a single person. We upped the ante when it came into level two the first time when we went up the levels. So we've uh, definitely worked on the initial ideas and procedures around that, but there's going to have to be more, more implemented and more full-time procedures involved now. We'll maximise the building itself to have 100 people as far apart as possible. The further apart they are, the safer they'll feel. Some bars are seeking further clarity around these level two rules. For us, there's a couple of things we'll have to clarify as well, because we actually run in one site three different entities, three different bars. So is it 100 people per bar or 100 people per venue? To us, it'll be a bit of a work in progress as we go, because this is all completely different. The one server um, here, the bar side, obviously people are used to ordering at the bar um, for our whole site, so the, the table service is something that, you know, is a big change for us. Many bars are still working out how to manage demand and avoid groups of people gathering. We'll have to do some form of door policy where we either even look at things like having the doorman, for example, or we can do a, an app-based thing, but having the, some of the local older clientele that we do have might not be able to work that type of it, app, so we might have to figure something out along the way. While demand for pubs is already brewing, don't expect any opening night fireworks. We've had a lot of people kind of ask us, oh hey, when you hit this level two, are you guys going to have a big party? And we've kind of had to go back and say, well no, it's, you've got to realise that it's not going to be a big party like we'd, we'd usually throw. It's, you know, it'd probably be, you know, bookings or something, you'll have to, you've got a two hour slot or whatever it is. So it's, I think whilst people are excited, when they kind of get here, it'll feel strange to them as well. There's no point in opening up a hospitality business if the customer comes in and they're like, this feels really weird and I'm not really enjoying the atmosphere or whatever else it is, I'd rather just not open. And despite having their doors closed for the past six weeks, the relationship between landlord and locals is as strong as ever. It makes a lot easier when you own a pub like this, when all the locals come together and they do listen to each other and makes the job easier for everyone. They've been really supportive in the past month and a half, especially the past week. And the locals showed us so much love, which shows us a signal that uh, they're going to listen to us uh, for level two as well. The locals are my family, you know. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.